A lot of neurodegenerative diseases, which includes Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, Huntington's, frontal temporal lobe dementia, have a common uh, aspect to the disease, and that is that these proteins build up in the brain and clog up the cells. And it's usually the build up of those proteins that goes along with you developing uh, cognitive impairment, inability to remember and learn things. And we're not sure what causes it and initially uh, sets this off. But what we're trying to do is enhance the brain's own ability to heal itself, to get rid of these gummy proteins. So when the brain of a patient with a neurogenic disease uh, becomes clogged up with these unwanted proteins, two systems, cellular systems, swing into action to try and get rid of them. So the system that we've focused on is the part of it called the proteasome. And the, what the proteasome does is it takes these unwanted proteins and it gobbles them up into, into smaller parts that can then be recycled by the cell. And in doing so, it removes these large globs of protein that are causing the cell to become dysfunctional. What we've done is we've encouraged the proteasome to become more active. We've actually enhanced its activity, so it's now more able to dispose of these unwanted proteins. And the way that we've done that is through using a couple of different drugs uh, to actually stimulate it, to make it a better acting proteasome. And this opens up a lot of new therapeutic opportunities. We can actually clear out not just one type of protein, but a number of different proteins. And that is uh, impactful because, first of all, the brain of an Alzheimer's patient has three or four different proteins uh, gumming up the cells. And also other diseases have other different proteins uh, than the proteins in Alzheimer's disease. So what we've got here is a mechanism, a method, for removing proteins in a number of different diseases and a number of different proteins. One of the things we want to uh, be very careful about uh, people taking a, as a take-home message from our study is that they should not go and get this drug and, and take it uh, to cure their Alzheimer's disease. What we now need to do is develop better drugs, uh, more specific, less toxic, that do the same thing. They, they target this proteasome, proteasome, make it more active, but we need further drug development to, to allow us to do that, take this into the clinic.